Well, hello there, everyone. <laughs> it's Robinson DUP. Uh, I sincerely apologize for uh, my lack of effort, I guess, on, on getting videos up. But um, I've had a lot of things going on in my life, none of which I really want to talk on and talk about on camera at this point, um, that have just taken much more priority over me doing YouTube videos. Um, you know, I'm fortunate and lucky that everything turned out okay, but, um, you know, sometimes in life, like I said, there are just more important things than me being on YouTube. Um, it's not my full-time job. I don't really make any money off of it. Um, so that being said, I do owe you a back to bulk kicks that's about two to two and a half weeks overdue. Um, so what's going on? Let's just get in, let's get into the swing of things. Um, I am currently sitting at about 184 pounds after the past two weeks, um, and my training has not been up to par, and I'm going to tell you why. Um, my gains are good, my strength's still good, but what do I mean is uh, I was trying to switch gyms in Manhattan. There was a retro fitness that was supposed to be opening up as of December 30th, and as usual, these places promise you the world and they don't meet their deadlines. So I didn't renew my gym membership at the one that I had in the city because Retro was opening. And since I'm already a Retro member, I'm like, why carry another gym membership and spend money that I don't need to spend, especially when I'm looking at about $500 for the year to spend there. I'd rather save that 500 bucks and not spend it. So that's what I did. And I kind of got shafted for it. Um, and usually, you know me, I'm up at four in the morning and in the gym by seven, get my training in and then I go on with my day. So how have I been adjusting to this? Um, John and I have manipulated my plans uh, to work Saturday, you know, work out Saturday and Sunday, really work on my strength days there. Um, and then two times a week, usually a Tuesday and a Thursday, um, as soon as I get off the bus, I end up going to the retro by my house. Um, not because I want to, but because I have to. Uh, and doing uh, basically one or two primary movers, like a squat bench type of thing. And then I'll move on to what we call escalating density training, which are really just supersets of exercises back to back. Uh, and I try to do as many of them as I can within a time frame, so maybe 5, 10, 15 minutes. So for instance, I'll do a dumbbell stiff-legged deadlift to incline dumbbell uh, bench press. And I'll try to do that as many times as I can for each set being 10 reps for about 10 to 15 minutes. So if I can get like five or six sets in in that period of time, I get the volume in, but I also get, believe it or not, it's very cardiovascular because you're doing the supersets. So I'm increasing my volume, I'm decreasing my recovery time, um, so that way I don't have to stay in the gym for an hour and a half, um, and I can get home and get to bed and have somewhat of a life. Um, so that's what I've basically been doing. My weight stayed stable, um, I've actually been getting a lot stronger, believe it or not. Uh, I actually pulled uh, 475 pound deadlifts on Saturday for three sets of two. So what my former uh, recent uh, conservative max test was, I've actually ended up getting close to pulling that for reps at this point. So I know I've got a 500 pound deadlift in me, at least. Let me fix this camera angle. I was jiggling and screwing it up. And um, my squats have been really good too. I actually did 355 pound squats for four sets of four. Um, really just been focusing on the mobility, depth, doing what I need to be doing. Sorry, I'm sitting in a light and I'm waiting to turn. But the only thing that hasn't really started to move as fast as I would like it to yet is my bench. Um, my right shoulder is just, I don't know what's going on with it. Like It's fine for a bunch of days in a row and then a day like today, I woke up, let me fix this damn camera angle again. Um, it's just, I don't know, it's just sore. There's nothing wrong, it's not extremely painful. It just gets, I don't know if it just gets jammed up or tight. Um, you know, I've been working on doing, using about two and a half pound plates and doing some rotational stuff for my rotator cuff, uh, just to get the shoulder warm and stretched out. And then I proceed with my benching and my pressing maneuvers and I have no um, issues with it while I'm working out, but then let's say the next morning or two days later, it gets stuck again. So, I don't know, we'll see where that's gonna go. I'm hoping it's just because I'm sleeping funny and there's not really any, I don't think there's anything structurally wrong with the shoulder, 
because I had a feeling if there was when I was benching, I'd probably feel it more. That's really about it, guys. So, you know, I'm just trying to stay flexible. Oh, and I know I keep repeating myself. I forget things as I'm on camera. Uh, my food is now being up this week. I was at 285 grams of carbs on a training day. We've done that now for about several weeks. Um, John just upped my food. We're going to go right to 305 um, just because my weight has been so stable for the past month. And I'm really impressed um, compared to competition season over competition season. After my first competition, I attempted to reverse diet, and I think I kind of got a little lazy and botched it up. So when I was done competing in like September or October, by January, when I was like 173 pounds, by January I was 205. Um, so I slapped 30 pounds on really quick. This time, um, I finished competing at the end of September, and now about four months later, I'm only 184 pounds. So I've, I've put on maybe 10 pounds, 11 pounds in all reality, which to me is a light years difference or a lifetime difference compared to what I did the first time. Um, so I've stayed way leaner. I'm eating a lot more carbs than uh, I was able to handle previously due to doing the reverse dieting. Um, at this point, I don't really, I don't know if I'm really reverse dieting anymore. I mean, I, I really think at this point it's more of a lean bulk. Um, you know, I've made it about 12 weeks. I survived the holidays. Um, I didn't have, I only had a couple weird weight fluctuations where I think I was just retaining water. But overall, I've been pretty stable and I'm happy with that. Uh, it, it really is amazing just with a little bit of discipline and commitment. With, and without deprivation, I didn't deprive myself of anything. Uh, I've, I've maintained a very lean body weight. Um, I still have striations in my chest. I still have some striations in my glutes. My legs still have some separation in them. They're not as separated, obviously, as when I was in competition. I do tend to hold some fat on my quads and my legs. That's where it seems like a lot of it tends to store first. Um, not in my stomach, because my stomach leans out really quick. And that's really about it, guys. I, once again, I apologize for the delay. Um, I just really had something way more important. I don't know if I'm gonna talk about it on camera or not, um, going on that required my attention and my utmost support of someone. Um, so. That's it, guys. I'll talk to you later.